What's up guys? Welcome up to here in Tomb Raider Anniversary, the remake of the original, the best, the only, yeah. Um, sorry if I sound like I've already done this before, cause I did, but it decided, the game decided to not record my audio for this thing. Actually, I just messed up some settings. So, uh, here we are with take two! So, yeah, let's begin! Um, we'll play on hard, and start! Calcutta, India. I thought Calcutta was in Oklahoma or something. And this game was originally on the, um, PS2. I originally played Now, what's that. a man gotta do to get that sort of attention from you? <laughs> As you can see if by that's the, the graphics. Sort of attention you want, Larson, you're well on your way. Sounds like fun, but I'm only here to make an introduction. Lara Croft, Looks like an meet iPad. Jacqueline Natla of Natla Technologies. Also, good afternoon, Miss Croft. She My research department has recently turned its focus to you, the study you will not of ancient me artifacts, that she's not. and I'm led to believe Although that with the right incentive, you're just much the woman to find them for me. I'm afraid you've been misled. I only play for sport. Which is precisely why I've come to you, Miss Croft. This is a game you've played before, with your father. You both spent know what years happened searching father. for the Skion of Atlantis. All you needed was the location yeah, of Yeah, we're searching for the Skion or whatever. You found Vilcabamba. How quickly can you get to Peru? Quite quickly. You'd be surprised. Well, I'm trying Vilcabamba continues to elude us, and my insistence that we press on in spite of these failures has morale low. I suspect well, maybe you should get your morale higher. Station. He simply refuses to accept the possibility that Atlantis is the foundation upon which all known civilizations were built. Increasingly, I find it is Lara alone who remains untainted by academic dogma. Well, it's I fairly easy considering to that it's this truth. the two of us. There's that guy and then there's Laura. This guy breaks ladders, apparently. Lo siento! No traje bastante cuerda! Not to worry, I'll find another way up. Yes, we will. Also, I mentioned it last time, but I'll mention it again. This game does not play well with my second monitor, so I am doing the one monitor system again. So, yeah, that's a thing. Up. And up. See, so yeah, I originally played this game on PS2 many, many years ago. Um, it was great back then, it's still great now, but god, some of these puzzles are a pain in the butt. I played through uh, um, the first two or three chapters just to make sure that this game will actually run on this computer, and it's running quite well, as you can see. Like, there's no lag. <laughs> Which I'm sure for you guys is a surprise, considering how my channel usually is with laggy games. So yeah, this is a first. Um, being that it's the original, it's a remake of the original. It is not um, nearly as combat-based. It's far more um, puzzle-based. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to play it, because um, I'm tired of just playing a whole bunch of shoot 'em up games. You know, I want one that has some puzzle aspects as well. Oh, and uh, the Mexican guy. I hope we didn't get too attached to the Mexican guy, because uh, he's not going to make it. Spoilers. Why can't my gun be this powerful now? So where did I shoot that that gun from? Because clearly one hand was like over here, and the other hand was here. So unless I like shot it out of my stomach or something, it doesn't make much sense. And 
than just that. Also, Laura, please, for the love of God, keep your glasses on. I like you so much better with your glasses. Alright. I could have sworn there was a sprint button as well. Oh no, pressure plate. Ow. Well, we're off to a swimmingly good start. How do I get up there? I would like to get up there. Hold on. Oh wait, that's where we need to go. Never mind. I was thinking that was a secret place, but no, that's just where we need to go. Although, over there... I've never found all the relics and, and like artifacts and stuff in this game, so I am going to search every nook and cranny I can find. So, be warned. God, there's so blatantly stuff up there. I want to know if I can use my grappling hook as a weapon as well. Because why not do uh, acrobatics when I have the chance? This game looks good for its age. I mean, I gotta say. I am sneaking. I am sneaking. No, we're not going to sneak. But I will do some acrobatics. Hold on. Not long enough of a place to do acrobatics. Bam. Get stuffed. And hop. And that. And drop. There you are. Knew you were there, you little buggers. Okay, let's let's explore a bit, shall we? How do I get over to there? Probably up there. So let's do that. This is going to be a fairly long first part. Um, just until I can, you know, figure out some of the the stuff. Alright. Move along. Yes, there's something definitely over there. Question is, how do I get it? Swing and jump and die. That that's not what's supposed to happen. Okay. Climb up and up. Jump backwards. Huh. No, dang it. So close. So close. Okay, but now we know what to do. All right. And jump. And up. Back. Yeah, that's a relic. A 
relic that I don't think I've ever actually gotten before. And hop. Yes. Alright. I can make this a guide for how to find relics in this game. And now we continue. Being very, very sneaky. I don't mind the view. Yes, acrobatics. I won't shoot them. Or maybe I will. Alright, that went much worse than last time. And I keep trying to press A to do stuff. Oh look, another relic. I know how to get that one as well. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not sick, by the way. Just a little bit of cough. And normally that would have dropped me down into the wolf pit. But I already killed the wolves, so yeah. figure out how to do the swan dive. I, I used to be able to do it. There it is. Yep. Swan dive. Because why not? Alright. And then hop. And turn. And then back. Forward and back and forward and back and jump and miss. And flawless. Okay, we're going back up there first to get that large health. Okay, we are not going to go and get the relic first and then get the thing. All right. And back and forward. All right, so basically I just need to get more of a swing going. And now it should be good. All right, there we go. Anything around here before I run over? And suddenly I'm wet. Because apparently walking through a puddle soaks your entire body. Logic. Swan dive. Wait, did I get the thing in there? Yes, I did. Swan dive. And acrobatics. 
Because why not do acrobatics? And jump. And back. And hop. Front flip for style. Don't question it. Back up. Dang it. Back up. Hold on. There's a way to get her to uh, do, do a cool thing with, like, getting up. I don't know how to do it, though. Anyways, onwards and upwards. from last time we are going to just do a little roll and try and be too fancy and it's locked of course it's locked wait a second that's not right that's a relic I see you relic I see it. First, let's kill the stupid wolf. There we go. Alright, I think I see what is needed to be done. Do I, though? Okay, it's clearly on the other side. Okay. Never mind. Rolling is actually faster. And hop. Hop. And hop. 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 And reload. I know there's another one. Yep. Oh, dear. And up is the boot. Okay.
Mystery deepens. And anything I miss, I don't worry, I will go back and do again. To get. There's something like out here. Cause Swarn and I remembered something about that. Maybe there's absolutely nothing over there. It's completely possible. That I'm just completely delusional. I think I'm completely delusional. I don't think there's actually anything up there. Anyways. Yay! End of chapter one! We're not done. Oh no, we're not done. Continue. Unlock nothing. Yes, we will save our progress. One. I have to actually use the keyboard. Let's play. Okay. There. Because you were nearly dead. Let's get the bear. Anyways, let's continue. Yeah, I think two chapters per video should be fairly good. And drop. What's this? Oh, look, it's a health pack. And I jump. Instead of actually picking it up, because I am a massive scrub like that. And over. And just to make sure. And alright. Ah, that, that was my problem. Okay, we're good. And we're in a new city thing. Excellent. Do a little dance. Walk on one foot. You were there, bear. Bam. Get one shot it. Oh say, look at me conserving ammo, but I have infinite of that stuff. And hold on. Swan dive! And swimming. Yeah, if I don't surface before that bar gets out, I'll die. And that would not be good to kill Laura Croft. Oh dear. Oh, that was close. Okay, and jump at the lever again. Because that's what I do. I jump at levers. Hup. No, dang it. If you go fast enough across that thing, it doesn't fall. 
You don't have to use, you know, the dead body cage. Oh, what's this? Oh, shotgun shells. Too bad I don't have a shotgun. Yet. I don't actually remember when I get the shotgun. Probably something I should know. Yeah, walk on one foot. Yeah, key. Got them keys. Try that shit again. Ow. Uh, you're near death anyways. Darn it. I wanna look cool. And remember this is hard difficulty. And I'm doing this well. Go find some things. Another locked door. Hold on. I see something down in the water. Swan dive! Oh, look, it's a small health pack. Okay, we're good now. And also, there is another, um mode to this game called Croft Manor which I have never even come close to beating um, but it's basically just like Laura Croft's house and why am I so bad at jumping like this anyways it's basically Laura Croft's house and yeah it's pretty great okay for God's sakes Thank you, Laura. Jump. Yes, that's how you do it. Okay, so that's cool. Bats. Bats. I know there's bats. Knew there were bats. Yes. Okay, we're going to do that every time now, by the way. Oh. And drop into place. Oh. Like a boss. And down. Alright, more jumping. Yay, jumping puzzles. Dang it. Meant to do that, just checking to see if there's anything on the bottom. Obviously, that's what I was doing. And hop. Parkour. And hop. And bats. And 
it up. All right. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Hey, it's gonna get you too. Another one bites the dust. Do, 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 do. Hopefully that's not copyrighted or anything. Oh. Three. Ow. Alright, let's roll. Yes, I just made that pun. You can hate me later. There's something down here that I actually want. So we're going to drop. Oh. And pick up some shotgun shells. Like a boss. Alright. Now move another dead body cage. Yay, dead body cages. Balance on top of that pole. You go, girl. Hop. I missed. And hop. Okay. Apparently, that's not the way I'm supposed to go. That's cool. Like I said, haven't played this game in a few years. Still trying to remember half the stuff. That's a lie. I complete another lie because I already told you that I just replayed this. Hup. And hup. And up. We are never going to pull ourselves up the normal way again. It's so unnecessary, but I love it. Oh yes, this part. Ah! And that's another part done! Boosh! And yes. That is all for this time, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of Tomb Raider, leave a like, leave a comment. A rating would be very much appreciated. And I will see you all next time. Waffle Cop, you're out. Boop.